guys welcome back this is part two with trace one of my equine physical therapy patients if you haven't already seen part one look for a link that's going to pop up somewhere on this video it should take you straight to that one uh, watch that one first and then come check us out here what you're watching right now is a video of trace that his owner sent me before we ever got started with physical therapy and she was concerned because Trace was having a lot of trouble while he was being ridden. He just didn't seem very willing. He was bucking and um, throwing a fit, even though she was just asking him to walk. She wasn't sure if he was lame or if his back hurt or if he was just kind of um, having some behavioral problems and was just trying to get out of work. She wanted to get him checked out, rule out any pain behaviors before assuming that it was just attitude. And that is something I really appreciate because so often when we see um, something that we label attitude, uh, it's rooted in, in pain somewhere. Pain, discomfort, um, not understanding what we're asking. As I'm watching this video, some of the things I'm paying attention to our first of all, I'm looking for any obvious lameness in his limbs. No, I don't really see anything. Um, his stride lengths seem pretty symmetrical. He's not striding out. Um, he's swishing his tail a lot. He's holding his head up pretty high. Um, his back is hollow. His ears are pinned uh, as he goes on these little tight circles when she's um, circling him, he looks to be more uncomfortable than on a straight line. Here she's going to ask him for a little trot transition. He kind of hops into it, doesn't look comfortable. Swish, swish, swish with the tail, ears pinned. Ugly transition back to a walk. So he definitely looks uncomfortable. Here she tried bareback because they weren't sure if the saddle was the problem. Um, it obviously didn't fix anything. If you've seen part one, you know what's going to happen in this video. He throws us a pretty pretty nice buck. Um, luckily, this rider has Velcro on her britches, and she sticks it. Um, so that's what we were dealing with uh, before. For the first few weeks, uh, we worked on the stretching you saw in part one, and his owner was also working a lot with hand walking, with that head kind of lowered, nice relaxed position with his neck. After the hand walking was going pretty well, we started to add in some trot transitions uh, and trotting on a nice straight line, getting him to lower, relax his head there. As you can see that trot transition, he still wants to throw his head up. So that's something we um, really wanted to focus on too, is getting him to transition with his head still relaxed. And Trace is one of those horses, he really anticipates it as being painful even when it's not as painful anymore. So if it gets better as we do a few more repetitions, we know that oh, that first time he was anticipating. If it doesn't get better, then we look, oh, okay, that, that's still painful. We also added a little bit of shoulder in to our hand walking routine. This really helps um, get the horse to step under with that hind leg. It helps with suppleness in the spine, getting a little bit of bending through the, through the neck and the back. And it's really the foundation for all of our lateral movements, um, for circles, for everything as we uh, go more into our ridden work. As he got stronger, we took him into the round pen and something really cool, his owner kind of taught him to lower his head with a hand and voice cue, she would say head low. So we worked um, on walking and on some trotting with that nice relaxed head. You can see he's doing pretty well here. It's a pretty nice trot. Um, the transitions are still a little ugly, so that's something we're still working on now. Um, but he's able to maintain that trot much better now uh, with, his, with his head relaxed and raising his back a little bit. In this next clip, um, we'll show the walk trot transition that we've been working on. So nice, good walk, relaxed, raising his back a little bit. When he's ready, little head toss, but that's actually a lot better there, that transition. Okay, here we'll try it again. Same thing. Nice, good walk. 
into the trot, still pinning his ears, but much less of a head toss that round. And then we got one more example. Going into that trot, keeping his head nice and low. That's really what we're looking for. So here I am um, doing the same thing you saw me do a couple of times in the part one video. Um, just kind of doing a spring test on his thoracic vertebrae, checking for a pain response. Here I'm pushing with pretty good amount of force and Trace does not care. Uh, I know you guys saw in the first video he was tossing his head, he was shifting around, he did not like it at all. Um, but now that's not eliciting a pain response anymore. That's a good way for us to tell that what we're doing is working. So the next step with Trace was to put a little weight on his back. So we just kind of hung over him, kind of acted like we were going to get on, um, not totally getting on. Like I said before, he really anticipates things being painful because they used to be quite painful. So we had to do a little bit of retraining mentally um, as well as the physical aspect. So there he tolerated that really nicely and lots of treats and scratches and loving for Trace there. Step two, preparing for riding, was to actually get on him and we led him up and down the barn aisle. So that way the handler could really make sure he was staying relaxed. The rider kind of moved around, shifting my weight, reaching forward, reaching back, making sure um, nothing was going to bother him. And we also checked the saddle fit before choosing this particular saddle uh, to use with him. And then once we were pretty sure he was comfortable, his owner was able to get on him and actually ride him up and down the barn aisle herself, which was awesome. Um, she hadn't been able to ride him in months. And now he's going, he's, he's not pinning his ears, his tail is relaxed. It's not swishing constantly like it was um, in that first video. His head is low and relaxed. His back isn't quite so hollow. Um, he just looks comfortable to me here where he looked so uncomfortable in that before video. So we still have a good bit of work to do before they're out um, running and jumping and all of that fun stuff again. But this is awesome progress and we're really excited uh, to keep moving forward with this guy. <laughs> Trace, you got stuck. At the food door. The transition is great. That? Yeah. That would have been a fit. Mm-hmm. That would have been a full-on yeah. temper tantrum. Good boy, Trace. Trace. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw and if you want more videos. Um, and as always, Please uh, feel free to ask me any questions, leave those in the comments, and I will get back to you.